All right, time for today's three stock lunch. Today, in honor of Thanksgiving, we have three stocks to be thankful for. Here with our trades is Gina Sanchez. She's Lido Advisors Chief Market Strategist and a CNBC contributor. Gina, you say you're thankful for the cloud this Thanksgiving, <laughs> and uh, despite the AI hype dying down a bit, you see a bit more to come from this space. So, well, so let's talk about a stock that if you'd own it, you'd be feeling pretty thankful today, and that's NVIDIA, crushing Wall Street estimates, tripling quarterly revenue, but the shares are a little bit down, making it one of the worst performers in the S&P 500 today. But you're thankful for it. I, if I owned it, man, I'd be thankful for it. Yep, this is one we've owned all year, and it has been the gift that keeps on giving. I think the China concerns are very real. So uh, for the time being, however, it still scores well enough to be a part of the you know, top 40 stocks that we put into our portfolio. Um, and it's maintained its position there. Um, you know, that could change, but for now, this is the top maker of GPUs um, and, you know, chips that, that feed not just processors, but also, um, uh, you know, the visual side, uh, gaming, et cetera. So we just continue to see them uh, being a major player. That's not going away anytime soon. All right, then what about, don't forget about AMD. Uh, those shares up over 2% today and outperforming the market. It lives in its big brother's shadow, but you're plenty thankful for it. We are plenty thankful for it. And actually, if we put these three stocks in order, this would actually be our favorite stock right now because AMD just launched their MI300 accelerator. And that is expected. You know, AMD, you think of them as sort of the, the, the bargain, you know, budget-friendly chips that go into solid-state drives, PCs, et cetera. Um, kind of just the general consumer space. But this, um, this MI300 chip, this MI300 accelerator could actually make a play for significant AI computational programming and could buck up against NVIDIA. So there's a lot uh, more to come, we think, out of AMD. And last but not least, another one you love, and that is Microsoft. Uh, All-time highs uh, recently for that stock. Why are you thankful for it? Look, Microsoft is one that I own personally, and this is one that, that you know, as, uh, you know, we have benefited from the environment. Um, you know, they, this is a company that has been incredibly um, innovative in terms of how they work with customers and clients, grow those customers and clients, and then benefit from them um, as they, they get stronger. The margins on Microsoft are massive. I mean, we're talking huge margins compared to the rest of, of uh, you know, the rest of the space. Um, and we just see the, the cloud world continuing to expand, even if we go through a, you know, a, a, a tightening in, in spending and a tightening in IT budgets, and a lot of people are expecting that. And that's actually, I think, been somewhat priced in. We think that there's still a lot of room to run for Microsoft. All right, Gina, thanks. Have a great holiday, my friend.